and welcome back. Remember the walking man example from the introduction? The secret of animation is drawing the same thing over and over again in a slightly different position or in a slightly different way to give the illusion of movement. This animation is a great example. Although all we're doing is putting dots on the screen, the way that we do it makes it look like someone is drawing. So far, we've seen the setup and draw methods, but you probably noticed that the variable declaration, int y equals zero, was sitting at the top of the program and not inside either method. Why? Well, let's find out what happens if we put the declaration of y inside the draw method, where we know that variable y is going to be used. If you look carefully, you'll see that y isn't used anywhere in setup. Now your draw code looks like this. What happens when we run it? Great, we draw a white rectangle and we stop. Okay, then let's get rid of it completely to see what happens next. Wow, we don't even get the white rectangle on our gallery. And some of you using processing in other environments will have just got an error. That's okay. Processing needs to know how we are going to store data. And this is why we declare variables, give them names, and then we give them a value before we use them. Processing is very forgiving of some things, like passing funny values to drawing and coloring, but here the value of y is really important because we want to change it, and by changing it, make it look like that shape is moving. More importantly, we want processing to keep track of the fact that we have changed the value of y. If we put int y equals zero inside the draw method, we tell processing to create y every time it runs draw. So every time it goes to draw the rectangle, it starts with a new y, which is set to zero, and when it reaches the end of draw, that new y is thrown away and the program forgets about it. That's why the block doesn't look like it's moving. It's being redrawn over the same spot. If we declare y outside of setup and draw, then both setup and draw can see the variable y defined in the main program and can change its value, which means that changes we make will still be there once we rerun the draw method. A variable declared in the main body is called a global variable because you can use its name to change its value across the whole program. Anything defined inside a function is called a local variable. The scope of a variable refers to the places where we can use that variable. By defining global variables, we get variables whose scope is the entire program. The scope of a local variable is only that function and only from the point after it has been declared. Let's prove that setup can also see that y variable by adding the line y equals 50 into the code. See? Now the box starts being drawn partway down the screen at the start. What happened when we totally deleted the declaration from the program? Processing couldn't make sense of what you wanted it to draw, so it didn't draw anything. Next up, we're going to look at how we can create a baseline for your animation.